array and just beneath that tilt. struggle hard and using these tilts they're like little mini swords except that they're not disjoints they do hit you up and here comes the combo from luna it performs so well here comes the fairs as well okay. you can already see how difficult this matchup can be i mean you could just picture eric andre streaming let me in here and <laughs> That's just what Blood's experience has been thus far. This disjoint on Luna's heart has just been harassing him to no end. Finally, that Clive oh! Hazard is going to lead to the first dot gone. What a conversion off of the dash attack. Great job by Gluggy. Got to get the conversion. He's only at 91, and considering the fact that he is a heavy too, this is nothing for him to do. I didn't do the, ah, the neutral special. Supposed to give him armor, but unable to come into play. And here comes Luna with his ledge trap and using his bears as usual. Oh, he teched it! He couldn't take the second one, but he's still alive! Short into the back of DK, the Excalibur gonna be pulled right back Oh out. no! Look at this Oh my god! Here. He's actually got him, goes for the trade for one from one, takes him down, but Glug, my goodness! Three in a row, taking his own stock in the process, but that's a trade I will take every day of the week. Oh my god, what an incredible conversion from Glug, making this matchup seem so easy, and he's gotta be careful for Cloud, does barely recover. Oh my goodness! DK! He's the leader of the punch. Even charged limit has to be only the start for Luma if he's gonna oh, make it no. back. Tries to get the conversion into that limit break, but unable to find anything. He's able to get away from it. And I like how Glug is playing so patient in the up he had a shield. He actually falls out of the second part, so no knockback. Down there is gonna spike, but without limit, I really fail to see how he can find a way back into this game. He plays himself a bit with that cross slash before going for the climb hazard and protects himself with the bear. Yeah, the only hazard right now is Luna trying to get back onto the stage. You do not touch him! Glug with the two stock! Glug extends the foot to meet him, and I feel like that was completely deserved after that second stock. He just went deep for the kill, threw it all on the line, and Luna is gonna be down a game in a shocking turn of events. DK? DK. Donkey Kong. <laughs> I mean, that Congo Saga power-up lasting yep. a little bit longer for Glug right now. I remember Luna is seated number two. It'd be really interesting to see Glug be moving on, but we were talking about how he is technically the one who can really pull this matchup off. And notable, and even with these high ceilings on Town & City, as we saw from the Cannon Rune set, the Ding Dong is still very possible. And if not just for the damage, these bears from Donkey Kong, and one of the best bears in this game, I would argue, from how much rage it gives him and trying to catch him out. Great ledge trap coming into play, the up tilt catches him out for a little more, and thankfully it's at later percent, so it actually is safe on him. Flying Hazard actually deposits him on the center platform. He's got to be careful, does throw him off on the stage, trying to force him to use that limit Climb Hazard. No. Back, but I'm an Android person. Just around that. Cross slash in the wrong direction, but not punished by the F-Snap. A bit late on Glug's part. Oh my goodness, it's so much pressure. And look at this, he gets trapped on the ledge, but he's still alive! It's going to be a bit late on the down air as well. The lagging... The extended hitbox on the dash attack, oh. but the up smash in the other direction, he read sending the DK into the tumble animation. Yeah, he read the cross up, and definitely Cloud's up smash is pretty weak compared to Smash 4, but definitely that is Cloud after all. He is the weaker version of the Smash 4 counterpart, where he's still able to pull up amazing stuff, and then Nair gets snuffed out. He's got to get so much, and look at this frame data from Cloud is so superior to DK, and this is the, the advantage for him. The disadvantage that is so bad for him, but the Bears finally catch that. He's going to be forced to use that Limit. Going high with the cross slash instead, but right now Ooh, tech off, chase! Not gonna tech that Luna completely unprepared. Vibe. Lug finally takes his stop. That is indeed the vibe check. That is the ultimate vibe check right there. Yeah, tech check, and here comes the... Oh, there we go, the spinning Kong to get the maximum amount of damage in that scenario, and tries to limit back there, but the climbing hazard does force him out in that situation, and the up air springs forcing him to get out of that situation. One up air into a second one as he just limit. covers the entirety of the platform. He's got limit. What's the scenario? Oh, he bounces off and perfectly spaced. Oh, those bears. This is the prime Luna that I want to see. Yeah, not even needing to use limit there. Those iframes on the startup platform, on the angel platform, excuse me, pretty much enough to get around the limit timer, but Lug still has to take the stock and another. Yep, and does the 
perfectly spaced jump into the down throw version of the cargo throw, choking them out, oh my goodness. And here's the problem, when DK tries to land, Cloud simply says no. This tech gets up in place, roll outward was covered by Luna. Oh no. Oh, he does get the edge guard, but look at these backers, they're threatening to hit him, and does air drop back on He does air dodge right back onto the stage, but he's got to be careful. Limit is coming up soon, Climb Hazard, not safe at all. Hits him with one backer, hits him with another. He's got Limit, though, so he's going to be safe. He catches him out with the fear, but the downer comes back just in time. Fast falling back, backer under shield, cross slash putting him up to 136. Oh, he makes it back just in time. He's able to reverse himself. Now he's the one stuck in the corner. Oh, no, he died in the tree! Worst trade deal in the history of this, trade deals. This is by far the worst trade deal. <laughs> Perhaps ever. Oh my goodness. That was so close Completely and he had the advantage. Completely not worth it for Glug there. Luna knowing that exchange was always going to work out in his favor. Trade or not. And even with that, he was only at 83. Would have taken multiple back airs to carry him off the side. Never mind what option he did go for. Yeah, he's able to perform so well here on Yoshi's... Uh, Interesting stage choice, but we'll have to see what it works out for him. Using the wall jump actually to delay uh -oh. the usage of the climb hazard. Uh -oh. Air dodge is right back into the rapid jab. Yep, he's able to get back on there. No air dodge needed, but that down air is forced him out of the situation and the cross slash as well. And there you can see the disadvantage of playing such a character. Even with his head caught in that cross slash, still oh. managed to get hit by every single hit. Yeah, but here comes the conversion. A fast full up air should convert. And he's just looking for the cross slash. He's trying to bait out an option, but Luna is staying safe. That's going to be completely safe on shield, and he knows it. Trying to use that climb hazard to get back off, but great air dodge from Glug, knowing he's at disadvantaged state, and does Fimson simply parry out. Oh my goodness. Going just below. Ooh! Forcing him to get the F sold off. He's still alive, not for long! May have spoken too soon there. Glug is going to be out of that first dock after the fair makes contact. Yeah, it does hit him up, and here comes the climb hazard out of shield once again. It's so good. It's such a good option. And here comes the notorious up air, and that could have been a punish right there. And he hits him up with an air once more, trying to use the limit beam, but he's actually going to go ahead and stay alive. Throws out the blink beam just to eliminate one of his options, but fails to cover the other pathway. Does force him out. He guesses wrong in this scenario, but. So much work has to be done, he's dead! Oh my goodness. He's gotta get something down, does get the dash attack, but nothing so far, he just collapsed but barely misses. Oh. oh. Yup. <laughs> Ding Dong definitely still available on this tripod here, especially without the high ceilings in the battlefield. Climb hazard though gonna be Luna's response, this time only going for the first hit. Slash as he goes on. Oh, Here it comes. A lot of, a lot of being used, a lot of climb hazards, but no up tilt conversion and that grab. You for sure is going to lift Luna. This is the Luna we want to see. Trying to use the empty hop cross slash and trying to use that down special, but oh my goodness, this is really showing why this is such an unfavorable matchup. Even getting the inward hitbox of the fair. Oh. Look at this back air train though. Oh, he caught him! Is he able to recover though? He is! Oh my god, Glug! He's caught rage though, so this is definitely still possible. Yeah, Luna still has another stock in the bag. Uses the super punch. Oh no. Oh no! He was so close! Is the air dodge not the wall jump? He spikes him with the foot and sends him right down. Glug clutches it out, and game number three is in his pocket. Luna had it and then lost it. Glug just took it away from him with that down air. What an edge guard right afterward, and the down air twice in a row. Oh my goodness, he's making Glug really wants to make sure this is the Final Fantasy. My goodness. Back on Yoshi's. Don't look away, that was a good one. I'm just flabbergasted by the ending of that third game. What was that? Like he used a he used a wall jump and everything, and Glug still read it out. I want this upset to happen. It, it definitely could, and with such a like this matchup too. This is DK versus a sword. Yeah, I mean it happens, right? The best of things happen. Where what happens at it? What happens here stays here. 
Clay Beam going to be the first to attack down. Rolls around the cross slash, but Luna knowing well enough to disengage after just one hit. He's got to get out of the situation. That's like the worst possible spot once Glug is above Luna. And then it's risky. He's going to eat a lot of a a percent. In this case, he does walk forward and uses the down special to catch the neutral getup. And he does weave just around the limit blade beam as well. He rolls around, including the jab as well. More damage coming into play, but the other smash surely won't hit. Won't kill him just yet, I should say. On top of the platform, still gonna be safe. Excellent parry, but the max spacing on that area from Blush is gonna be in safety. Oh, spikes him right down. Is he gonna die for a great wall jump from Luna? What a response from him as well. Trades with that blade beam to protect himself. That's definitely a trade he will take gladly, and the F-Smash, so slow, but doesn't hit up. He's got to find some way against this sword character, going to go in and charge up. That limit is coming available, so glug has got to be careful. Goes high, but Glug not baiting Luna into jumping successfully. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to get the combo down, but does he get both hits of the down special? That's a big problem. And here comes the up air. He's forcing on this situation. That cross slash is surely going to come into play, but this is Kalos after all. He jumps right over it. Yeah, timer running out on the limit. Pretty much had to throw out something, so excellent awareness. on. Oh, great pivot grab. He shuffles him forward, too. Enough time to do that. My goodness. Yeah, we've already seen that Luna's mash not quite up to standard of a player of this caliber, and for the second time this set, it's going to be his undoing. Mm, and this time not gonna be able to skip, but he's got DK to the pin to the corner, but he actually lets him back onto the stage. Oh my goodness, he's trying to find some way, even with the parry, he only gets a trade off of that. Back here just making contact with DK again, spinning on to make it back, but the backer depositing him back off stage. Yeah, he's gonna catch him out, he catches him with the punch though! Catching the foot as well. The yes, smash surely won't hit, but Glug at a huge advantage. He's gonna force it. He's gonna force the limit out, and he does spike him down. Glug, a valuable resource gone from Luna though, and a dash attack from Glug hits him with the back gear. Oh my goodness! Luna down to his winner's side stock here. Has to be oh so careful because DK can get these strings started if you let him in. Uh -huh, he just needs to find some way and blame Beam catching it out, but the surely the fair from Luna will shut it down top of the side platform. One is going to make contact. Still falling out of the climb hazard. Oh my goodness, Glug is performing so well right now, but Luna definitely wants to stay back in this tournament. He does miss the climb hazard only. A dash attack, and he Glug falls out once more. The more hazard of this is his opponent's falling out and the up air catches him for a little more damage. That up air is going to oh no. the limit timer. No way, he's still alive. It is Kalos after all, and it is quite stale from all the uh, up airs he's been using previously, and he does hit him with the back air off stage in a disadvantaged state. He's got to go for something. Glug knows he's so close to winning this against Luna. He shields it out. Here comes the back throw. No, that is that it? No, he has. No, that might be it. Oh, that that's it. Frame. Glug finally gets it with the mini pop up with the upset against Luna, sending him to losers. What a surprise! No one expected this result. Glug makes the best out of a horrible situation, and with a complete reversal in game three riding a tidal wave of momentum in a game four, completes the 3-1 and advances into winner's finals to face catch-up. My goodness. That's DK. That is DK. That's Donkey Kong. He's in winner's finals. We got a DK. We have a DK in we winner's finals. We got DK and Bowser Jr. in winner's finals. Only I in never, SoCal. Never thought I would have seen the day. Only in SoCal. My goodness. <sighs> Glug actually just won against Luna, the number two seed. Where's Glug seeded at? Glug, I believe, was like, he was somewhere in the teens, I think. But still, an upset. What? Wow. But oh, that's right. But Glug. Glug making this run, just tearing through the winner side of the bracket and advancing to face catch up here. We already saw one upset. Can he pull it off a second time? But before we get to that, we're going to be dipping to loser side right before we see that. So to begin this, it looks like we're going to be seeing Hudler and Rhino do. Loser of this going home in fifth place.